Hello guys, Joel Kingsley here. In this video, I want to talk about an incident that happened uh, yesterday on uh, August 28, 2018, strong there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So basically, the Bible also says there's going to be a day, and this day is going to be in the future where this is called the day of the Lord, and this is the time that Jesus Christ will be coming for a second time. And on this day, the Bible says that it would be full of darkness. If you look at another verse in the Bible, it says in um, Revelations 6, 12 to 17. Well, this, this is a much uh, scarier uh, description than what Joel had said. And uh, it says in verse 12, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell un unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Every mountain and island were moved out of places. And the kings of the earth, the great men and the rich men, and the chief captains and the mighty men, every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So this is a much scarier uh, description than what the book of Joel said. And where here, basically at the end of the chapter, it reads, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Basically, this day would be a day of wrath, because... Jesus would come for a second time. And at this time, he would bring about justice. And uh, he would, uh, if you'd like to know more about the subject, I would definitely recommend a documentary, which is in YouTube, which you can watch it on YouTube. And this documentary is uh, after the tribulation. And I'll have the link to the documentary in the description below. You can go ahead and watch it. And this is a very good documentary. It, it is very informative. And it, it's about two hours long. And if you are in the mood to watch a documentary, you can just go ahead and watch the documentary. It's a really good documentary. So, see you next time.